Hi, my name is Ruman Khan and in this video I'll be showing you how to add OAuth 2 policy in MuleSoft API Manager. For this example, I'll be using Postman as my external client and GitHub as my authorization server and resource server. So we'll use Postman and send request for access token to GitHub and the GitHub would be returning us back an access token. And we'll then use the access token to talk to MuleSoft API Gateway. So passing this token to API Gateway and the API Gateway will then pass this token to the resource server to get a resource and then validate the token. Depending upon the validation result, if the token validation is a failure, API Gateway will return a failure response back to the client. And if the token validation is success, it goes to the API and then return a API response. So let's move on and see what are the steps required for this entire setup. Before we proceed adding a policy on API Manager, we need to set up the GitHub as authorization server and a resource server. So let's move on to GitHub and see how to add a OAuth 2 app inside GitHub first before we add a policy on the MuleSoft API Gateway. I'm currently logged in into GitHub and I'll go to the settings and click on developer settings. And here you can register a new application. So let's just say test OAuth 2 and in home page you can mention your own home page. So I'll just say uh, my blog website and in the authorization callback URL this would be since I'm using a postman as my client I'll give a callback URL of the postman. This and now I'll just say register application so once this application is registered you can see you'll get a client id client secret and all the other settings over here remain the same so now let's go back to api gateway so i'm currently logged in into any point api manager and i already have an api setup I'll click on this one which is configured to this particular endpoint let's quickly browse through this endpoint as you see, it just returns a plain success text message and there is no authentication or any policy added on this. Let's go back to the policies and let's click on apply new policy. And select the OAuth 2 access token enforcement using external provider. And in our case, the external provider is GitHub here. So let's say configure policy. So in OAuth 2 policy, you can also specify scopes which limit the user to particular scopes. If you want to know the scopes in GitHub, you can go to this particular URL. Here at the bottom, you can see there are four scopes which are allowed. I'll just leave the scope empty here. And for access token validation endpoint, this is where we need to provide the token validation endpoint which is going to validate the access token since github doesn't have an endpoint just to validate the token what we can do here is we can just access a resource on github and accessing a resource will auto validate an access token which is what we need to validate the token so to do that i'll just mention endpoint as api github.com slash user which is I'm accessing a user resource on GitHub. So this should auto validate my access token. So I'll say apply here. Now let's go back to Postman. Now let's paste our URL and hit send. And as you see, the policy got applied and we are seeing an invalid request required parameter access token is missing. So let's go to the authorization tab here and say select OAuth2. Let's click on get new access token. So here, now we'll have to fill all the values here, like token name, I'll just mention GitHub token test. So for the grant type, let's just leave it as authorization code here. And for callback URL, this would be the postman callback URL. And for the authorized URL, this is the endpoint for the authorization server, which is GitHub, since we are using GitHub for authorization. And for the access token URL, again, this is the endpoint for authentication server, 
so we'll use the same thing except that we have to change the URL to access token and for the client ID this is the client ID and secret which we got when we created the app on github so let's go back to github and copy this client ID and client secret going client secret and for the scope either you can mention user or leave it blank and date you can leave it blank client authentication we have only two values as basic auth header or in the body i leave it as basic auth header and say request token and as you see it's asking test OAuth to by my name wants access to uh, this account which is again my account and and the scope is personal user data because we we mentioned user here so you can see what data would you get back so this includes private email address profile information and followers so let's say authorize and it's going to ask me the github password So once we have authenticated on github we'll get the token back so i'll say use this token so we have an option here to either add this authorization data to request header or url so it doesn't really matter what you choose so we can just say send now and as you see we now got a success response so the way it has worked is the token was sent in the authorization header and the API gateway used that access token to invoke this particular resource on GitHub. And GitHub has validated this particular access token to invoke this resource and sent a success response back to the API gateway. And since API gateway was able to validate OAuth2 token, it now invoked the API and sent back success response to the user. Now let's try to test it out the same thing instead of authorization header sending it in the url so you can see we can modify this to request url and click on preview request so this removes the header the authorization header now click on send and postman added the access token in the request url automatically while sending this and we got a success response back now let's try to modify this token and see what happens and select the request header so that we can see the token I'll say preview request and you can see those were added here I'll say send and this failed indicating bad credentials and the documentation URL is github so this was a, a very easy way to add a OAuth 2 token to a, your existing API using an a existing or to provider which is github in our example hope this was helpful thank you